For the past three years, I have been trying to raise wasps as pets. As a kid, I loved ants, and this seemed like the most logical way to take it to the next level. That is crazy. Crazy. All my attempts up till now have been somewhat failures. Many inventions later, and enough stings to probably give me PTSD, instead of giving up, I've decided to go all in, move out of my bedroom, and turn it into a complete environment for my new pet wasps. To you, this may just seem like a random hole in the ground, but underneath are hundreds, if not thousands, of little living creatures. Now, rarely have yellow jackets been kept in captivity, which is why I've taken it upon myself to learn how to raise them as pets. Now, right here is another nest that I'm going to pull out of the ground. My friend Joel's gonna be helping. Let's do this thing. <laughs> First, I suck them up with a vacuum that I specially designed to keep them alive. Look at how many I've sucked up so quickly. And they're all intact and healthy. All these are gonna be inside my closet. After I catch enough adults, I dig the nest out of the ground. There's another. I then release the nest into the closet. Look at how they're just going crazy exploring the place, but they're also really upset. You can see I put the nest in an old laundry hamper here. But where things went wrong is when this one escaped. Frick. Hi. I shouldn't say frick. All right. All right. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, we, we got some ninja skills up in here. Ninja skills. Oh, <laughs> All right. oh I think I just killed something. Come here. Come here. No, 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 where'd it go, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is, okay. <laughs> no, this isn't my first rodeo. Ah, okay, I see it. Oh, there it is, right here, right here. Oh, there's two, there's two. Are there, are there more getting out? Even though it's really hard to Whoa. see the yellow jacket, it is dive bombing me. It's like a little homing missile. Unlike their cousins, umbrella wasps, which I'm actually also trying to keep as pets, yellow jackets are extremely aggressive and they will lock onto you from many, many feet away. And yes, I do eventually get stung right here, but the wasp also pays a price. Okay, we're good. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's right here. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> oh, I grabbed it in midair. There she is. Trying to chew her way out of my fingers. <laughs> Don't video this. Just got stung in the arm. There he is. Oh, snap. Shot him out of the sky. I hit her with my glove and she died. Whoops. She did sting me, but it's a shame. I'm telling you guys, these things hurt. To feed them, I made them a platter of food, put it in their cage. Right away, it went from the chicken to the apple. But they also loved the shredded chicken, so I ended up putting a whole mountain in there. But you really can't beat live food, so I put this mealworm, or it's called a superworm. You can see it's just wrestling with the yellow jackets right there. But pretty soon, the stings from the yellow jackets immobilize it. They start to paralyze it slowly. And there you can see it's crippled, nearly out of commission. And then the yellow jackets just start gnawing it to pieces. What they do is they chew up this insect meat and feed it to their babies because they themselves can't digest it. Right there, that giant orange one is actually the queen. 
and you can see she's laying an egg in a cell right there okay guys so i bought this giant roach right and it was initially to feed it to the yellow jackets but then it started crying like a baby i felt like it was a little person so after a lot of contemplation i decided i didn't have the heart to feed it to the yellow jackets instead i want to keep it as a pet plus it actually came with two and it seems like they were lovers or something or really close friends so instead i went outdoors and caught some random creatures to feed to the yellow jackets including this tarantula that seems to have already been paralyzed by a wasp needless to say they stung these creatures to death and then devoured them check out this roach just being paralyzed this is quite a large nest they're really going crazy in the past i have not been successful to actually raise a nest let's hope that that changes Thanks for watching guys. It's so crazy awesome that there are so many of you who are actually interested in coming along on this journey.